दिलों में प्यार की खुशबू तो होठो पर दुआ रखना दिलों में प्यार की खुशबू तो होठो पर दुआ रखना ईमा में वक्त से एक रिश्ता इश्को वफा रखना Assalamu alaikum alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu dear viewers Welcome back to another episode of Friday Sermon for Kids My name is Suhaib Ahmad and joining me on today's episode We have Monis and Maliha Assalamu alaikum kids Wa alaikum assalam So in this Friday Sermon, this week's sermon Hazur Anwar, may Allah be his helper Continue to speak about prayers and supplication and Hazur taught us many prayers, some from the Holy Quran, some prayers that were taught to us by the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and some prayers that were taught to us by the Promised Messiah Alayhi Salatu Wasallam. Before we get into our discussion, let's watch a clip from the Friday Sermon of Hazur. <laughs> خاص توجہ دینی چاہیے یہ دعائیں ہیں جو ہمیں ان حالات سے نکالیں گی جن میں ہم آج کر ہیں بلکہ امت مسلمہ کے اطلاع سے نکالنے کے لیے بھی دعائیں کام آئیں گی اگر اس, اس کو سمجھ کر یہ لوگ دعا کریں اور ساتھ ہی اللہ تعالیٰ کے بھیجے ہوئے کی مخالفت کو ترک کریں بہرحال جہاں تک احمدیوں کا سوال ہے ہر احمدی کو یہ بات اپنے ذہن میں اچھی طرح بٹھا لینی چاہیے کہ اضطرار کی حالت پیدا کریں اگر اپنی دعاؤں کی قبولیت چاہتے ہیں so dear viewers, we are going to get into our discussion about the Friday Sermon of Hazur. But before we do that, I would like to come to my presenters and ask you guys about your new learned points. Monis, we'll start with you. The new thing I learned from Beloved Hazur's Friday Sermon was that dua can protect you from all bad things, even before they happen. Beloved Hazur, may Allah be his helper, explain that true prayer is only possible when we have love for Allah. MashaAllah, excellent job both of you guys. It's very clear that you both listen to Hazur's Friday sermon very attentively. Great job. So kids, as mentioned, Hazur Anwar, may Allah be his helper, spoke about the essence of prayer. And Hazur taught us how we should supplicate before Allah the Almighty. Additionally, Hazur Anwar taught us many different prayers, which are very short, which we can recite every single day to better our lives and to enhance our spirituality. Yeah. Hazurid Allah Ta'ala bin Rasul Aziz also spoke about the condition we should be in while praying. He said we should, ha we should have anguish in our hearts. That's exactly right. Hazur said that there should be pain in our words and we should be aware of what it is that we are saying to Allah the Almighty. Yes, Hazur, may Allah be his helper, said that we should not pay mere lip service. Wait, what does that mean? Well, lip service means that when you are saying words, but there is no intention or sincerity or focus behind your words. So when we're praying to Allah Ta'ala, but we don't know what it is that we're saying, we're just, you know, we get used to our prayers, we just go there without any focus, right? And we're just saying a bunch of random words, that is called lip service. What up, Isab? I remember that Hazur, may Allah be his helper, said that we should try to be a Muslim. Wait, what does that mean? Great question, and this is a word that was recited, or in the verse that was recited in the beginning, this word was in that verse, and this means somebody who is in anguish, someone who feels helpless, who feels like they have no assistance. Hazur Anwar, may Allah be his helper, said that this is the attitude that we should try to adopt when we are praying to Allah the Almighty. We should remember that we are helpless, and the only being who can help us is Allah, and we should trust Him alone. Exactly, Murabi Saab. I remember Hazur, may Allah be his helper, mentioned hadith about taking refuge in a fort or something. Exactly, Hazur Anwar, may Allah be his helper, mentioned that the Holy Prophet wasallam said, I command you to remember Allah a lot, and the example of zikr is like a person who is being chased by his enemies, and he takes refuge in a strong fort, and he is saved 
from his enemies. And this is how man can take refuge from Satan. Wait, what does zikr mean? Well, great question. That brings us to our next segment in this program, which is the word of the sermon. And lucky for us, we have our trusted presenter, Ayan, who is going to enlighten us with the word of the sermon. Jazakallah, my baby sahib. Zikr is derived from zakara, which means he remembered him or it. He recollected it. He preserved it in his memory. He spoke or talked of him or it. So when this word is used in relation to Allah, it could mean to remember, worship, or praise Allah. Back to you guys. Great job, Jazakallah. So kids, as the Holy Prophet wasallam mentioned, that if we want to be saved from the attacks of Satan, we have to worship and remember Allah. And Hazur Anwar, may Allah be his helper, also mentioned that the example of those who remember Allah and those who don't is similar to the living and the dead. So after Hazur Anwar, may Allah be his helper, taught us the importance and the essence of praying and supplications. He taught us many different prayers some from the Holy Quran, some prayers that the Holy Prophet ﷺ taught, and some prayers that the Promised Messiah ﷺ taught us. Rabbi Saad, can we go over some of these prayers and their translations? Yes, and that is what we will do next. Before we get into it, do you guys remember the first prayer that Hazur mentioned in his sermon? Yes, I do, Rabbi Sahib. Hazur said that we should recite Surah Al-Fatiha. He also said to recite it even when we're, when we're not reading the mass and to develop a habit of reciting it. Great job, mashallah. Hazur, may Allah be his helper, said that the promised Messiah, alayhi salam, said that we should recite Surah al fatiha with focus and sincerity from the heart. That is correct. He stated that it purifies the heart. It opens a person's heart and it takes them closer to Allah the Almighty. All right, now the next prayer that we are going to mention is a prayer that we recite in our namaz, and I'm sure that you guys know this prayer as well. And the prayer is, Rabbana atina fid dunya hasanatan wa fil akhirati hasanatan wa qina adab nar Oh yes, I know this prayer. I'm sure you do in Maliha. I'm sure that you also know this prayer because this is a prayer that we recite in our namaz, as we mentioned, every single day. All right, we will now move on to our question of the sermon. All right, so the question of the sermon is, what is the translation of this prayer that we just mentioned, which is, Rabbana atina fid dunya hasanatan wa fil akhirati hasanatan wa qina adab nar Is it A, which is, my Lord, everything is in your servitude, so my Lord, protect me help me and have mercy on me? Is it B, O our Lord, grant us good in this life and in the hereafter and protect us from the torment of the fire? Is it C, my Lord, have mercy on both of them as they nourished me in my childhood? Or is it D, my Lord, grant us good only in this life and not in the next life and save us from the fire? You have 10 seconds to think of your answer. All right, your time is up. Monis, what do you think it is? I think it's B. B and Maliha, what is your answer? I think it's A. You say that it is A, Monis says that it is B, and I can reveal that it is B. Mashallah, good job. I know that those were some long options, so maybe you guys had trouble you know, identifying the correct option. But nonetheless, the translation is, Our Lord, grant us good in this life and in the next life, and save us from the punishment of the fire. So, Marabi Sahib, what else did Hazur mention? Well, Hazur Anwar, may Allah be his helper, mentioned a lot more prayers. Another prayer which Hazur mentioned is a prayer that the Holy Prophet ﷺ would teach anyone who had accepted Islam. Do you know what this prayer is? And this is a prayer that we also recite in our namaz. Monis, any idea? Yes, I know it. Allahumma ghfirli, warhamni, wahdini, wa'afini, wazukani. Great job, mashallah. And Maliha, do you know the translation of this prayer? Oh Allah, forgive me, have mercy on me, guide me, and grant me good health, and grant me physical and spiritual wealth. MashaAllah, great job both of you. And Hazur Anwar, may Allah be his helper, also mentioned that this is a very important prayer which we recite in between the two sajdas. But at times it seems like people don't even recite this prayer properly. Like they quickly get up and they quickly go back into their sajda. 
Zuhur said that this is a very important prayer and we should recite it with a lot of focus and with a lot of sincerity. Hazur also spoke about reciting Darud Sharif and he also said that if we don't recite it, then our prayers will not reach to Allah. MashaAllah, that's exactly correct. There's still so much more to discuss. What other prayers are mentioned, Murabi Sai? Well, Hazur Anwar mentioned a large number of prayers, so we encourage everyone at home who has not yet listened to the sermon to go ahead and do so and note down these prayers because many of them are very small prayer prayers that we can memorize very easily and recite them daily and develop a habit of reciting these prayers every single day. Hazur also spoke about the current world affairs towards the end of his sermon. Oh yes, in the end of his sermon, Hazur Anwar, may Allah be his helper, mentioned that it seems like a world war has begun and the world leaders are not showing any concern because they think that they will be saved and only the general population will suffer. Hazur said that this is their fantasy. They are prioritizing their ego and because of this, many people are distancing from God. Because of these corrupt politicians, people are starting to distance from God. Hazur prayed for humanity. He prayed that may Allah the Almighty save humanity and may He also enable us to focus on our prayers and fulfill the duties that we have when it comes to our prayers. Ameen. Ameen. Well, that brings us to the end of our program, which is the review and what we learned from this discussion of today's Friday sermon. I learned that we should always pray sincerely and try to adopt anguish and pain when praying to Allah. I learned that there are many small prayers that we can recite every day to develop a habit of reciting them, which will result in getting close to Allah and having a good life. Great job guys, and for everyone at home, make sure to tune in next week to learn more about the Friday Sermons of Hazur. And remember guys, make sure to watch Hazur's full khutbah. Until next week from Toronto,